Okay, the next two constructions have to do with perpendicular lines. The first one is when you have a line that we have here, it's called L, and you have a point on the line, and you want to draw a line that is perfectly perpendicular to it. It's hard to do when it's not on a graph because you can't use the slope of a line to determine what is perpendicular to it. But you have this reference point, and you can use that, your compass and your straight edge, to make a line that is perpendicular to line L. So using P as the center and using any convenient arc length, so you have the freedom to choose how big you want the arc to be, you're going to draw an arc that intersects line L at two points, and you're going to label the points and you're going to use A and B in this case. In your, when you actually do constructions, you can use any letters you want. So at point P, here's what this means. Put your construction point or your compass point on point P. And you're going to draw two arcs. One goes here that intersects L. And then I'm going to flip the compass. You're going to keep it in the same spot. But you're going to draw another arc that intersects line L at the same length, okay? So that is step A. Let's move this out of the way. I'm sorry, step one. Move that out of the way. I'm going to label these points A and B. And we could call this one A, this one B. Okay, now, we're going to choose a radius length greater than one half the length of AB. So here you see we have a segment formed by AB. If we put a point there and a point there, we have a segment. And you should notice that point P is actually now the midpoint of that line segment. What step two is telling you to do is take your compass, put it on either point, A or B, and make sure that you extend your compass to greater than one half the length of the whole segment. You know from your multiplication property that the midpoint splits a segment into two halves. So if you extend the compass past the midpoint, not further than the length of the whole segment, but just a little bit further than the point, you're fine. Now, using points A and B as centers, you're going to draw two intersecting arcs on either side of line L. So here's line L. What that means is draw an arc down here, draw a length, an arc length up here from each point. That's important. So spin the compass. And now above line L, draw an arc from point B. But then you have to do the same thing under. So let's flip the compass. Actually, I don't have to do that yet, do I? No. I'm going to keep it at B. I'm just going to go below, actually it's a little bit off, make sure it's on B, that's good. And under, you're going to draw an arc like that. Now, I have to flip the compass over, keep the same arc length, don't change it, and put your compass at point A. Now the arc you draw from point A above line L is going to intersect your first arc. And then you do the same thing under. Whoa, okay. Do the same thing under. And you can see you have two points of intersection. We're going to call... See, I didn't tell you here what to call that line. I'm going to tell you to name these two points of intersection in this video. Let's call them D and E. Okay. And we can put them here. And then using your straight edge, these points and the midpoint should all connect. So we're going to draw a line. Using your straight edge, you could do it in one shot. I have to do it two different ways. Now you can see my line may be a little awkward, but that's because of the computer. But that's it. And that's line DE. In our case, it's PQ. You could have labeled this Q and called it line PQ.